Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well. You guys, it's been two months since the last time I posted a dedicated Lululemon haul video. What is life? What am I doing? So I'm so excited for today's video. Lululemon has been coming out with so many spring pieces and all of the colors are to die for. And I honestly cannot wait to see what else they end up coming out with in the upcoming months. But this haul is massive. I have 12 items to share with you guys spanning across sports bras, tops, shorts, and pants. I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys the items that didn't work out. I don't feel like I typically do that, but I feel like it would be really helpful, especially if you were eyeing that item. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So in true form for my haul videos, I'm gonna start with tops moving my way down to bottoms. So I am gonna start out with sports bras. The very first sports bra I wanted to share with you is a staple of mine. It is the energy bra. I mentioned this bra back in my Lululemon sports bra video that I posted in December where I compared 12 of Lululemon sports bras that are made for B through D cups and this is just a classic whether or not you are a Lululemon lover or brand new to Lululemon I just think that this should be like the very first sports bra that you pick up it's so supportive it has good coverage it's really easy to get in and off it doesn't dig into your shoulders and I just love the crisscross detail in the back it does have removable padding in it this one is in the color smoke spruce which I am so in love with this color. I don't feel like it's a typical spring color. I feel like they would have come out with this in the fall time, but I am here for it. I love it. It's just like the perfect green color without it being too green. I don't even know if that makes sense, but my typical size in Lululemon Sports Bras is a size four, and that's what I got this size in. I'm a 32D. The next one is the Ebta Street Bra. This is another one that has quickly become one of my favorites in that Lululemon Sports Bra video that I already mentioned. That was the first time that I tried out out this sports bra and ever since then I've just been so addicted to getting even more of these this sports bra is just so stretchy so it's one of my favorites to throw on because I don't have to like struggle with it at all but I just feel like the silhouette of it is very flattering on this kind specifically is light support so it's lighter support than the energy bra it's sweat wicking it has a seamless construction to it this one in particular is the C to D cup version and they also have this in an A to B cup version which I really like that they did that a nice little thing about this is that you can either wear it as like straight straps or you can wear it as a racer back. It has a nice like easy little clip here. For me, I can only wear it in the racer back because if you wear it as a straight strap, the sides right here end up like bulging out a little bit. And so with it being a racer back, it helps for that section to just sit more seamless against my chest, which I really like. I didn't mention, but this is the color green fern that they just came out with. So in love with and I got this in a size 4 as well. The next sports bra that I picked up is the in alignment racer back bra. They do have a few different versions in this. I think one of the versions is just like a straight strap instead of the racer back style. The straight strap version has like a regular bra closure on it. Similar to the ebb to street bra they do have this in different versions. So this one in particular is made for B and C cups but they also have another version that's made for A and B cups too. I got this in a size 4 and I was honestly so pleasantly surprised with this. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I do, really. It's a seamless construction. It's super buttery soft. I just feel like it's super flattering on. It's comfortable. It offers some good support to it too. It has removable padding in it, which is really nice as well. I think the only negative is that the straps up here actually sit in a little tight, which is not something I experience that often with Lululemon. So I was surprised about that. But overall, I just think that this sports bra can be weared as just like a normal bralette or top, especially during the summertime. I just think that the v-neck is super flattering and when i pair this with pants that you'll see me talk about later i just love the look of it and every single time i would pair it with something i was like oh i think it would look really good with this sports bra so yeah i'm really excited about this one and adding it to my collection so heading right into tops and sweatshirts category the first one that i got is the run and train racer back it's in this super gorgeous heathered white opal color. In person, it's just beigey, so it's definitely not like white or anything like that. This top, you can actually see the tag coming through it, but it is a see-through top, so I would just be mindful of that. But I think that it's a perfect level of sheerness. It doesn't show too much, and I love the way it looks paired with like a sports bra and how you can kind of like see the sports bra peeking out too. I got this in a size two, and that's my typical top size at Lululemon, and I love the way that this looks on me. An interesting thing that I didn't notice about it is 
the back of it at the bottom is a straight cut and then in the front it kind of like scoops down a little bit the material of this is sweat wicking and quick drying and there's also like some technology in it that keeps it from growing bacteria and anything like that but overall this is just a really good staple tank top it's a little bit longer than a lot of other say the muscle love tea i think is what it's called and it hits just like right at or below like your natural waist so it's a really good length for those that are looking for a little bit longer of a tank top. So next up, I picked up the scuba half zip. I'm no stranger to this. I've bought other half zips in the past and the full length zip as well. And every single time I got it, I've always was just like, this is too oversized. I wish that instead of them coming out with size extra small, small, medium, large, etc., like in groups that they would actually come out in actual real sizes of extra small, small, medium, large, stuff like that. But when I saw that they came out with the trench color I was like I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna make it work and I actually posted this on my Instagram and I had a few of you guys reach out saying that you've had similar issues with it being oversized and you actually put it in the wash and it ended up shrinking a little bit and it didn't damage the item at all so I'm actually going to do that I'm gonna experiment for you and I'll report back to see if that works but you will see that this is an oversized fit on me but I also don't think it looks too terrible I don't know if that's just me but you can see that the sleeves are oversized and I'm kind of forced to put my thumbs through the thumb holes, which I'm not mad about, but because of how long the sleeve is and it kind of just falls off, I have to put it in there to secure the sleeve on my arm a little bit more. Something about it, I just love. It has just like this effortless, oversized look to it. I actually like that even with it being oversized, it still comes to your waist, like it's waist length which is amazing. And honestly, all the details of Lululemon items, you just can't be. Like, I just love all the seaming details. I love that even right here on the zip, this is an emergency hair tie that you can use, which is really cool. The rib detailing in the back is one of my favorites too, but I know I don't have to gush too much about the half zips. You guys love these so much, and it's just one of Lululemon's most popular items. The material is so soft, it's so cozy to wear. It's just overall, a really great item. Lululemon started coming out with some more short options just in time for spring and summer, which I'm so excited about. So I picked up a few shorts. I actually picked up four. The first I want to start out with is the Evergreen Track Shorts. Okay, you guys. These shorts, I am obsessed with the concept of them. Like, color blocking on these to die for. The track suits that were so popular like in the 80s and stuff. Oh, I love the fact that that's coming back. So I snagged these up so fast. I actually got it in this one that's like green with the green fern and stuff like that. But then I also got it in the black and navy version. So both of these I got in a size zero and I love like this jawstring. It's super heavy duty, which is quite impressive. It's not lined or anything and it's just pretty lightweight too. I think speaking for me, I'm not too fond of the execution of these. Again, like I said, I'm obsessed with the concept of them, at least on my frame and my size and how petite I am. The pants like flare out a lot where it just looks like it's overwhelming for my body type. But when I was looking at the product page for these yesterday, a lot of people in the reviews were loving these saying, yes, finally a pair of shorts made for those with like thicker thighs and stuff. And I was like, that's fair. This is a really good option for that. But I think just like on me with being 5'1 and being so petite, they don't work well with me. But I highly recommend these shorts. The length of these is super nice and just conservative. You have nothing to worry about when you're wearing these. So overall, really obsessed. Just wish that they worked out for me. The next item that I picked up is the track that short. This is a high rise version, three inches and it is lined. I believe that this one is online only for purchase, but it comes in like four other colors. I'm really excited to see them come out with this in more colors than just the four. So you can see that I got it in the color black and I did get this in a size two. I really love the rise on this and also the inseam length. This seems like a short that's going to be like a staple of mine for the spring and summertime for just running errands, maybe as a cover up to go to the beach and of course working out as well. But I feel like a lot of my Lululemon pieces I convert over to athleisure more often. But they're lightweight, they're sweat wicking, they have four-way stretch and has like a little drawstring band in the inside if you want to make them tighter and like I said it's lined so it has like this little built-in underwear in here there's no pockets on it aside from like a small zip hidden pocket on the side for I'm 
sure like a key or a card or something small. So my last pair of shorts is the Inner Glow short. This is in the Terry version, not the modal version. I'm not a big fan of the modal version. For some reason, they're just not as stretchy as the Terry ones. I've tried both a zero and a two in the modal ones and they just both look really weird on me. So I kind of just stick to the Terry version of these. I got this in like a blue tie-dye one last year, last summer, and those became my staple. I wore them like to death, like every single day, just lounged around the house and all that sort of stuff. And so when I saw that they started coming out with them again, especially in black, I picked them up so fast. What's interesting about these is that they are the same length as the track that short that I just shared with you. It's a three inch inseam, but you can see on these, the way that it's shaped in the back, you can see a little bit of like my butt cheek hanging out. Again, I mostly use these for lounging around the house, so I'm not too mad about that. I don't know if I would necessarily wear these out and about, but again, like to the beach or something where I have a swimsuit underneath, I think that's totally fine. The drawstring detail is one of my favorites and yeah, they're just super comfortable and effortless for sure. The last category is joggers and pants. And the first item that I wanted to share with you guys is the Scuba High Rise Jogger. So I got it entrenched to match the half zip that I already shared with you guys. I shared this matching set on my Instagram stories and you guys are loving it just as much as I am. This color is so underrated. It's been fully in stock for a while now, which fully shocks me. It's so good. I just feel like it's a really neutral beige color. It doesn't pull like too yellow or anything. It's not too cool tone either but it's just somewhere right there in the middle i feel like maybe you can say it has like some green undertones in it like up close maybe but otherwise i just feel like it's a color that would look really good with a lot of different skin tones so with the scuba joggers i do get it in a size zero i do have these in gray sage and then i have tried them out in the light gray color as well they do stretch out so that's why i usually opt for sizing down in them however the light gray color i shared in one of my last lululemon haul videos for some reason that color was a little bit different it wasn't as stretchy as these ones so i think i should have gotten a size two in those i ended up just returning them anyways but the point of the story is this color is really stretchy and really comparable with like the gray sage color too i think the inseam on these is around the 28 to 29 inches which to me goes to my ankle so i feel like it's a really great length super cozy material really soft just cotton fleece interior in here overall really great sweatpants joggers kind of funny that i'm buying even more sweatpants especially like heading into warmer weathers but when you have an obsession it is what it is <laughs> So the next pair of pants is the Beyond the Studio crop. You guys, where do I even begin with this? So this is the pant that I paired with the In Alignment bra. The combination, these pants, I don't know. I am so impressed with these. I wasn't expecting to like these as much as I do. They're super comfy. They're really lightweight. It's a little bit lighter of a material than say the on the flies. They're sweat wicking, they're quick drying, and they have four way stretch too. The crop on these, I should mention that, really good length for being 5'1". They're actually a crop. I think that's what I was most surprised about. I didn't think that it would actually be a really good crop length on me. It hits about an inch above my ankle. So I'm really thoroughly impressed with these. I love the two pockets on them and then the pockets on the right. It has a little tiny interior zipped pocket. That's actually pretty deep. You can put something good in there. The waist has like a thick cinched jawstring and overall, even like with the butt, oh, it makes it look so good. So yeah, I'm just really impressed with these. And again, they're super lightweight. I think that they're just really good to throw on any like really nice spring summer day. It's not anything thick to like fuss about, you know? Oh, and lastly, I don't think I mentioned that I got these in a size zero. So they are a little bit on the tighter side, but that's kind of how I wanted them to be. I am curious about a size two only because the waistband is a little tight. It's hard to get them on, but once they're on, they're super comfortable and it's not like too tight in the waist, but just for the ease of getting them on and not struggling to get them on, I think that's why I'm curious of what the two looks like on me. So I might play around with that a little bit, but overall, definitely try these out. The very last pant that I wanted to share with you guys is the evergreen track pants. So just like the evergreen track shorts, love the concept of these and I wanted to try them out so bad. So I got these in a size two they didn't have these in a size zero so I just opted for the smallest size that they came in funny enough though I feel like the size two in the pant and the size zero in the short it fits the exact same way which is interesting I guess maybe that just shows that the shorts are really that oversized to maybe size down in them 
maybe but again i just figured track pants are making a comeback and i wanted it to embrace the trends and get a pair but this pair unfortunately just doesn't work out for me the construction of them and everything is absolutely amazing the inseam of these is 29 inches which on any other pants that lululemon offers like the ready to lose is 29 inch inseam those fit me perfectly but for these and maybe just because of the construction on them they are too long so they really bag down towards the bottom and it does have a zipper at the bottom of these two so i wouldn't recommend these if you are my height like 5'1 or under i think that i'd recommend these for someone taller honestly but it's water repellent and windproof material and i'm just so obsessed with this color too so kudos to you if these work out to you thought i would mention them anyways so definitely give them a go all right well that completes the haul i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you're giving it a thumbs up if you did everything that i mentioned in this video will of course be linked down below the color the size i got and also all of my measurements will be down there for you as well before you go please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos i post every tuesday and friday also go give me a follow over on instagram i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in a couple of days in my next video bye guys i love you